Good evening, I'm Gary Skoog and we're here at Big Kaiser Precision Tools. It's a manufacturing open house. There's a, a manufacturing renaissance going on in, in our country and in our region right now. We're going to show you around tonight some of the demonstrations, the tools, talk to some of the career advisors, some of the students, some of the parents, some of the professionals in the field and uh, let you make up your own mind. Uh, the reason we're doing this tonight, we want to promote uh, manufacturing, that this is a alternative career choice for young kids and it's uh, an exciting career that uh, needs a lot of people and uh, a lot of the baby boomers are leading this industry and we need replacements and at this point in time we really only have uh, a few that are choosing this direction and we just want to show them this is an exciting career choice that can make money for them? That's the good news. The bad news, we don't have enough qualified workers. So we're having an open house. We've invited a number of school districts to this area and students to learn about manufacturing and what it's all about. We're talking with Kyle Burrett, assistant principal at Elk Grove High School, and uh, he's brought some students here today. We tried to bring a, a gamut of students, some from our Project Lead the Way engineering courses, but then others who are in just a, your, your run of the mill woods class who think they might have a future in a hands on type of career. So we tried to sprinkle in a different mix of kids to try and show the same thing that I was mentioning before that there's a whole gamut of careers in manufacturing. Before I was um, trying to determine whether I should go into aerospace engineering and then uh, I came here tonight hopefully to gain a little more insight of um, what a career in the engineering field is um, like accustomed to and then this has definitely given me a lot of insight so I'm really glad I came here tonight. Very interesting uh, field to get involved in and there's a lot of openings in, in the manufacturing field. The career in manufacturing has led me down many roads and they've all been wonderful. I was actually hired out of high school. When I was a freshman in high school, I joined uh, a machine tool program. That was a four-year program. It got my start and now I'm in business manufacturing. I find it a great career. It is something that is exciting. The opportunities are great. We need people in our high-tech company, guess what? Very difficult to find right now. But let me just say this to you. I have about 30 employees. I start my own shop. That's, by the way, the beauty if you go into manufacturing. You one day can buy your own cotton-picking machine and start a business and then grow. And you become probably relatively wealthy. There's a lot of things that I've thought about. I've thought about just going out of high school and maybe getting a two-year degree and being a millerite, and then I've thought of going and designing custom parts, making my own shop. So there's a lot of different possibilities right now. Seems like a cultural thing in, in our country and this region of kids shouldn't go into manufacturing. How do we get around that? Well, I, I think it takes a, a school, it takes a community, it takes business, it takes the whole partnership. I think manufacturing is a great career, you know, and I look at it from the standpoint of I would much rather my, my kids be doing something creative where they're actually accomplishing something, they're building something, rather than being trapped, you know, in an office cube under fluorescent lights with fake plants 24, you know, hours a day. So really I think manufacturing is, is a much more attractive career. It's actually kind of maddening. We see this in Elk Grove where we have one of the largest industrial parks in the world in our backyard. I even have a hard time selling that to, to parents and community members that manufacturing has changed. It's not the, the, the dirty world of old and it's not a bad word. They're from floor positions all the way up to engineers. It's growing, it's exciting, it's fast paced, it's, it's high paying. All the things that you would want your children to have a career in and um, it, it is a hard sell still but that's what events like tonight are about. That's why we're starting a manufacturing a, a program next year. CNC Manufacturing at Elk Grove High School is to develop that pipeline for for machining and engineering right in our high schools. Well, our high school is one of the best, I think, in the nation. So, um, our high school thinks very highly of manufacturing just because we have a lot of those facilities. 
So on the screen, um, what's happening is the machine is reading each line of code, and that code tells the machine in what direction and at how fast of a feed rate to move. And then it, it'll process each line of that code once it's completed one line. The tool is running cooling through, so it's a little hard to see, but what it's doing now, it's, it's just going to drill directly through that part. Now it's also going to change the tool again uh, and use what's called a uh, twin bore roughing tool. Um, this will take that rough drilled hole and take its level of precision to a little bit higher degree. Well, it's great to be here and a uh, great event that Big Kaiser is throwing tonight for all the uh, high school students around our area. Uh, they're giving them a chance to learn as to what's going on uh, behind the scenes and uh, we're very appreciative that they are giving these students an opportunity to see this. It seemed to me when I was going to school they had shop programs and then they disappeared from the high schools for the most part so I think we need these kind of programs to open the uh, students eyes to what the options are. Well I agree a hundred percent with you Gary. Uh, this is exactly what uh, is needed for children to learn what is happening outside of college. Well, I've, I've always been a, a kind of parent who likes to do things with my hands. So we do woodworking together, we do all kinds of projects and things. So I think uh, Keith has sort of picked up on that as just a, a natural thing that he enjoys doing. And so for me, that makes it a perfect career to get into manufacturing engineering, where it's kind of a nice combination of hands-on, of, of technical stuff, of computers. It's just such a broad base um, career, I think, that covers a lot of different areas. Now we're with Tom Erbach from Harper College, and uh, Tom, it works with a lot of the manufacturers uh, helping to get internships, and uh, uh, it's a brand new program that's starting up at Harper College, and Tom, why don't you talk about this high-tech manufacturing program? Will do. Thank you, Gary. What we're working on right now at Harper with a consortium of manufacturers from all over the region is a new program where you'll come out after the first semester with a MSSC Certified Production Technician credential. That's a credential that's recognized anywhere in the United States. With that, we have already 60 commitments from manufacturers to provide internships, paid internships, two days a week while you're going to school, the other three days a week. Earn while you learn is the whole idea. Once you have that first earn while you learn semester behind you, you will have earned your first level certificate in mechatronics, or metal fabrication, or any other number of areas in manufacturing that you might be interested in. At that point, your foot's in the door. Many manufacturers will actually pay for your education while you're learning, and you can continue on like I did. Started in chemical manufacturing many years ago with an associate's degree, and my, man, my employers paid all my way through college to a bachelor's degree, and a, just a great career I've enjoyed over the years.